If you don't like hiking for fresh snow, if you uh, like certainty with the lifts, what time they're going to open, and if you're not really looking for an interesting culture, then maybe Gulmark's not the place for you. However, if you don't mind hiking to earn your turns, you love fresh, deep powder, amazing terrain, and quite accessible backcountry skiing, and on top of that, a crazy culture, the Kashmirians are fantastic. Well, maybe Gulmark's just uh, the place for you. question in Gulmarg is to guide or not to guide definitely guide if you're here for a week um, or if you're here for a month definitely get a guide I think for at least a week or so uh, not only for safety it's a big avalanche prone area um, but they know the area well and they'll keep you some safe lines and also hopefully some fresh lines too now the local guides are, tend to be down the bottom of the gondola and uh, after a few days so you get the familiar faces and uh, the international guides, uh, they tend to be with more group bookings uh, that are booked over the internet, but they're still around and if you ask them, you can still go out for a day or two with them, most likely. Uh, prices range from about $80, I think, to about $160, so uh, definitely worthwhile getting, as I said. Good for safety up here, there's, there's a lot of different aspects and a lot of backcountry that isn't patrolled. Uh, and uh, there's some brilliant lines to be out there that only local guides kind of know about and um, it's good to be with them so you get to know a bigger area of the mountain in a, a certain period of time seeing that you can go 7k's that way, another 7k's up that way get down to Tangma or um, the Barbarushi trees they're good to have and definitely worthwhile having oh, You've got to hike to get the turns, it's so worth it Over there is where we do all our heli skiing. Over here is where we do all our uh, backcountry. Over there, this is where we're just about to go skiing. If it's your first time to Gulmark, I do recommend the guide. You get to some pretty magic places. Man, it is incredible. It is beautiful.
So this is dining Kashmiri style. We're halfway up Mount Afawat, the uh, halfway midway station of the gondola. It's just behind us here. We've just spent the morning skiing the backcountry. Cruise straight on down to this assembly of restaurants and the food is outstanding. You can have a beautiful meal and a Kashmiri tea for about the equivalent of six Aussie dollars. It's delicious, friendly, sunny, beautiful. And then you just ski back on down to town or go back into the back country if you want to. Can't ask for more. <laughs> This so is where we normally uh, eat lunch, and uh, it's just above the phase one of the gondola. Quite good, cheap food, and uh, some days it just it's nuts here with little um, fires going, um, and they put uh, wolf juice in there or beef it up with a little bit of uh, uh, methyl or whatever, and then it becomes actually unpalatable to stay here because you get this wafting cloud just above all these makeshift tents here. So days like today where it's quite quiet <clears throat> ends up being a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. But uh, you don't have the atmosphere as the uh, of the the crowd. <laughs> And this is my favourite drink in Kashmir. It's a Kashmiri kawa or a tea made of saffron. Uh, it's got nuts suspended through it and, uh, I don't know, some other goodies, but it just tastes good, sweet, beautiful, great for energy, for skiing, and uh, I could just live off this Kashmiri kawa. Best drink yet. Ah, uh, lunch at the uh, tea huts. It's going off in there today. Lots of little fires. Lots of people getting warm. A couple of cowers. What more can you ask for? And it's dumping. It's absolutely dumping. Bring it on. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Dance. ticket to ride that's right we have a ticket to ride that gondola up there it's uh, 200 rupee or approximately four dollars Australian and that's phase one and uh, you buy your tickets individually and then you go up to the top of the mountain which is phase two as another ticket that's another 300 rupee which is about six bucks so you get the top for approximately about ten dollars and uh, you have to buy your tickets individually it's an awesome system sometimes you have to wait for about half an hour in the ticket office <laughs> just to get your ticket and then you have to wait about another half hour to get before you up the gondola so by the time you get the top it could be 11 30. but while you're down here there's uh lots of people selling uh chai and uh you know other assortments so there's uh plenty to tie you by let's go the gondi station it was finished in 2006 or seven Uh, we're at the phase two of the Gondi this morning. We decided, because it was a bit overcast, we might have a bit of a late start. So it is now 10.30 and we've just come up phase one. And the Gondi still hasn't started. So you can't really expect anything to kind of 
run on what you call a European time here. It's Kashmiri time, it's flexible and I love it. It's just, every day is such a fluid transaction and transition in time and some days it may not open until 11.30 or may not open at all and other days it opens relatively early. So, this is all the skis on the mountain. There's lots of good snow to be had up the top. So you can't really complain, it's just another fantastic day. The Wallers is what makes, I think, Gulmarg quite special. And they're the uh, sellers, they're the sled riders and um, uh, the guys are selling chocolate or cashmere tea and when I first arrived I thought oh they're trying to pull one over you trying to rip you off but they're not they're uh, the prices are quite fair I mean these guys walk up to the mid station every day and sure that are about like a chocolate bar I think down in town you can get for about 25 rupees and up here they might sell them for 35 or 40 but think about it you know you're looking at walking up here every day to provide a service so uh, yeah, the first one, one or two times I was trying to bargain and barter and then after that I thought it doesn't matter if you've been here for a day or a week or a month or a season, they all pretty much offer the same price all the time. So how much is this one? 70 rupees. 70 rupees? Yeah. <laughs> is that your most profit on that one? No. Well, it should be today because look, we're the only people up here. Uh... No one's up here except us. We're waiting. It's snowing, obviously. <laughs> waiting for the uh, chair to open up which it may not do, and that's the risk that you take. Thank you very much, shukriya. Oh, five star. This, it's the add-ons. I love the add-ons. How much is this one? <laughs> 30 rupees. 30 rupees? Yeah. You just ran it up to 100. Okay. Yeah, very good. I think they do a pretty fair trade, and uh, it's good to have them up here, and uh, they provide a lot of entertainment, and generally, really nice guys to have around the place. Do you do this every day? Yeah. Do you walk up or yeah. do you, you walk up? How long does it take to walk? How, how long how long to walk up from the village? Yeah, Tangmarek. Uh, Ten? Tangmarek. Tang? Tangmarek. All the way from Tangmarek? All the way from Tangmarek. You walk from Tangmarek? Do you, do you sometimes get a uh, lift on the back of the... Uh... No. No? Wow. That's, That's a hub. long way. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance, dance. Din da da do do do, din da da do do, din da da do do. We're in the uh, taxi from Tangmark. It's always an adventure, you never know what's going to happen. It's not just straight or smooth sailing, there's always a bit of argy-bargy. Someone's broken down on the side of the um, road or I don't know what's going on at the moment. We haven't even got a driver. So, um, but it's just, it's an adventure. I love it. It's um, the best 20 bucks you'll ever spend from Tangma up to Gulma, I reckon. It's just, if you love driving, this is one of the places that you need to come to, even if you don't like skiing. So, um, there's always carnage everywhere. Got guys up on the roof on that one. Yep, there's a lot of revving going on, but not much action. Pretty typical kind of stuff. And this will just stay like this for a long time, maybe 20 minutes and just chill out and relax. There's not much else you can do, and that's not a bad thing to be doing after a, um, a long run down to, uh, to drain through the trees. So we've uh, just come from Tangmar, back to Gulmar, picked up a hitchhiker on the back of the uh, 
taxi on the way. <laughs> Every time we've done this road it's been different and it's always been an adventure. Today it was probably the clearest but still icy, rutty and bumpy. I think we're losing some of our other passengers. Everything is an adventure here. Srinagar, which is pretty much the gateway to Gulmarg. So it's the closest airport. So if you're going to go to Gulmarg, you have to come to Srinagar. And what a place. Uh, yesterday we went to um, one of the oldest mosques here, or the oldest mosque here, 850 years old. So the place is pretty old. Uh, the town is crazy, lots of little alleyways, um, great marketplaces, some beautiful old buildings, and some buildings look like they're just about to fall down. The people are incredible, really friendly. And I've been really surprised actually by the hospitality everywhere. It's fascinating. And then to kind of comment on the craziness, uh, you come out to the lakes where you've got these amazing boat houses and look at these. They've kind of been detailed to within an inch of their lives and they're just these beautiful wooden boat houses up to about 130, 140 feet long. And they've got like maybe four rooms, en suites, dining rooms, and they're just such a lovely way to spend uh, a time in Srinagar. You've got this yin and yang, as I said, it's just a crazy place. The reasons to come here are endless. We've really enjoyed our stay. We've been cruising on the lake, paddled along in one of these gorgeous canoes. It's one of the most relaxing things you can do. And compare that to the bustle of the markets that we've been looking through and the amazingly beautiful uh, mosques and just the general vibe in town. It's like being in a different world and it's no, just no, no, been no, fantastic. No, 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 We've loved every minute of it. Srinagar's well worth a visit. No, 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 no. 